Boys and girls, welcome back to my kitchen adventures. Today it's going to be a rhubarb crumble. So I'll present the ingredients by step. The first uh, part is I have 750 grams of rhubarb. I have uh, 70 grams of stevia sugar. The recipe asked for 140 grams of ordinary sugar. So I divided it by half and divided it in two. And I have uh, the juice of one lemon. For the base, I'm using store-bought short crust pastry. I'm just too lazy to make my own. Um, uh, for the top then, there will be 140 grams of plain flour, uh, 175 grams of brown sugar. This time I'm not using artificial sweetener because I think we need the, the, the crustiness that comes from real sugar. There is uh, 100 grams of crushed nuts. There are almonds cashew nuts and peanuts in there. There's uh, 140 grams of butter and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. For step one, I've put the stevia sugar on top of the rhubarb and uh, tossed in the juice of uh, one lemon. Mix them all together. I cover that with foil and then I'm gonna put it in the oven, so at, 200 in the oven degrees. at 200 degrees for 40 minutes. So while the rhubarb is cooking, I've put the pastry into a rectangular dish. I don't have a round one, but I'll see how it goes. And I'm going to put that in the fridge to chill while the rhubarb is. And yeah. now to prepare the topping, I've put the flour, the sugar, the cinnamon and the butter into a large bowl. And I'm going to mix with my fingers. To prepare the base, I've put a sheet of greaseproof paper and I've put beads, cooking beads on top of that. They're little balls to keep the weight down to stop the base from uh, bubbling up. So the base has been cooking for uh, almost 15 minutes. I'm gonna take out the beads in the paper now and give it another five minutes. Now, while the pastry base is getting its last a few minutes, uh, I'm gonna pour the rhubarb mixture into a pot through a sieve. So I have a sort of semi-solid uh, rhubarb mix and the juice, the syrup, I'm going to keep for serving. So I spooned on the topping and then sprinkled the crushed nuts. I had more nuts than I needed, so maybe uh, maybe half that quantity for the next time. And this is now going to go into the oven at 180 for 20 minutes. This is how it looks after 20 minutes. Uh, I'm going to leave it to cool before I have a, a taste. And now to serve, I'm going to pour just a little of the syrup that I saved from cooking the rhubarb and a healthy dollop or unhealthy dollop as you choose of creme fraiche. And now for the ritual taste test. I'm very pleased. So thank you all for joining me. See you next time.